Welcome back. guys are sharing the stream get it all out there get everybody over here just in time for once upon a time they are going to be doing the projection show right before happily ever after like yesterday welcome back christine welcome back everybody make sure you guys are sharing it out get it all out there mm, where's my pockets oh there you go can't find my pockets all of a sudden working Picture? Tell me. Here we go. Tesm live. It's coming in now. We're good. It's coming in. It just took a hot minute. All right, guys. Refresh, refresh. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. We are gonna be doing Once Upon a Time. Rosie and Jill and Wendy and Christine and Channel and Todd and Christopher and Vicky. Does need it a refresh. All right, make sure you guys are sharing the stream. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Click that live button you just needed to. Yes, perfect. Awesome, I'm so excited. Hey guys, hey Glow.
Okay, we've got 15 minutes, guys. Oh, Manifest is on on demand. On demand, on demand. Make sure you guys are sharing that stream out. We've got time before fireworks. Take about 15 minutes, five minutes before pre show music. Yay, yay, yay. Yes, Bro Fest Fridays was awesome. I told Rob he needs to meet Rover and Steven before Steven leaves. This will be good. Hopefully I'll be home before midnight, right? Apparently Riley Ray made a big old mess. Um, no. Nope, nope, yep. I started a new one. I blasted on Facebook. Make sure you guys are um, subscribed to all of our all of my social media platforms. We've got several Facebook pages, but it is listed in the description box below. That way, you'll get it on Twitter. You'll get it on Facebook. If YouTube doesn't send you um, a notification, because there was a, it's not saving as you can see the last three times we've streamed. It's not saving the thumbnail when I upload it and get the stream ready it's kind of weird I have to change it in the end it's kind of pain in the biscuits but I thought yesterday's update would fix that but apparently it has not yet so I always have to change it later on kind of pain you know but if you are subscribed to all of the um, Facebook pages like Genevieve Ursa one the Keto with the Kingdoms the Ursa Emporium one you should get a notification from those as well and on Twitter because I usually blast it right before I start so that way if YouTube doesn't send you a notification um, you're at least good and just keep checking the channel if you know like I'm gonna restart sometimes it just I'm pretty fast I'll just restart right back up but we were at the four and a half hour mark I just wanted to make sure there are no issues Jeez. Gotcha. Yeah, it's on demand, but I need to catch up. I'm a couple of mm, episodes behind on Manifest. I know Tanya's been watching it, too. Make sure you guys uh, watch The Midwinter's Tale. They had an, a Christmas episode for Sabrina, The Chilling Tales of Sabrina on Netflix. Super good, super good. Yes. Well, we're glad you're back, Sandy. And Tiffy, of course. The tree's still up, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Bless you. Yep, I know. Dang, tree's still up. They need to take it down before Rover and Justin decide to chop it down. Because they will. Yes, Todd's linking all the social medias right there. Click on that chat link. Or it's in the description box of every video. I also linked uh, Rob's podcast on there because you guys were asking me about it for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Mitch. Back again. We did two parks today. Look at that. Extra special Monday for y'all. Ooh, Bachelor is on. Hey, Maddie, how are you? I know. None of those bachelors have gotten married. It's just such a drama, but I love it. You know, I know. I hope it's like a good season. It's always good when it's a good season and a good bachelor, you know? Span the stream just happens, you know, never a good thing. That is not proper etiquette. <laughs> but you will get deleted if that happens. That is just not a good show. <laughs> nice. Oh, but Riley, uh, I did not set up her pen right. Rob's like, this is wrong because she digs. Like, she spins and spins and spins before she goes in her poo-poo pe pad. Apparently, I didn't put, I didn't do the configuration of the pen appropriately. And there's like, she kind of messed up her, and she has a holder. We bought, we bought a holder for her pee, pee pad. And I usually secure it like we kind of put a little shape to the pen, but apparently I didn't do it right. Rob's like, this is what I come home to. Poop everywhere. I'm like, oops. She lifted up the, the pad and got the poop in the wrong spot. 
and dig up the pad because the way he has it, it locks the pad holder in place so she can't mess it up. I thought I did it right. I didn't do it right. Hey, Justin, how you doing? Right? Well, like, I watched Caitlyn's season because she was high drama. Um, Sean was the last bachelor I watched because she actually got married and he was there to get married. And, like, that was fun. But there's always, like, the one villain girl, you know, how it is. It's always kind of drama. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. She's been bumping up poop everywhere. So Rob was not having a good time cleaning that poop up. Oops. Ten minutes. We got ten minutes to share the stream, guys. Get it all out there. Your still is still <laughs> your tree is still up. Yes, it is. Justin's about to chop it down. He's not having it. Hey, if ever win a, uh, you can't just stay at the suite, you have to be invited. It's usually like for charity or um, like they do it like every now and again, they'll raffle it off or something. It's usually just special events. Maybe someday, you know, win something that you can stay at the dream suite. It is definitely more like a, you get chosen kind of thing. Oh, no, not that Sean. Sean from um, Bachelor. He was the last one that actually was on there to get married to get married. You know what I mean? Not just to be on there for fame. I did. I ate my cheese. I had cheese. <laughs> Make sure you guys are sharing the stream out. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. That definitely does help out. We are, yes, the castle is still Elsified. We are 10 minutes from Happily Ever After. Well, nine minutes at this point. Yes. Did we eat yet? No, we have not eaten yet. I might just pass. I ate a piece of cheese and I had my bulletproof coffee. That was about it. But I will watch it if it's a good bachelor, you know? Because there's always like a villain bachelorette, like, you know, contestant. There's like a lushy one. There's, there's always just like, they pick all the other ones that like start drama. Because it wouldn't be reality TV otherwise. I love 90 Day Fiance. That's like my, I'm hooked on that. That's like my trash TV and Real Housewives, of course. You gotta have your Real Housewives. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Happy Monday. Just in time for some fireworks. Wives. Yeah, I love um, Beverly Hills and Orange County. I watch a lot because there's like I've watched since the beginning. I used to watch New Jersey, but I stopped watching that. But I love 90 Day Fiance, Before the 90 Days, all of that stuff. It's like Dance Moms when it was on. I heard they're coming out with the season eight of Dance Moms. I'm like, ooh, because now that Abby Lee's back, you know? And. You know, she's out of prison, so it's like, ooh, they're bringing it back. I'm curious if that's really real or not, but I'd be excited if Dance Moms are back. Nice, Nikki. Awesome. Yeah, Sean and Catherine, that was it. Then he went on Dancing with the Stars. 
I've been watching Crikey. It's the Irwins because I love those kids. They're so good. I didn't know like Bindi Irwin won Dancing with the Stars when she was on it too. Uh, I love Sean Johnson's Dancing with the Stars season twice and Melissa Rycroft also. There's all my reality TV things that I watch. I love Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders making the team. I love that. Watch it for like every season now. It's been so good. It's like the hardest NFL cheerleading team to make. It is. And they are elite. They are world class. These girls have talent. They're educated. They have careers. Five minutes. They're so good. Oh, I know, girl. I gotta go watch that Tiffany. All the drama, girl. All the drama. I know. Oh, she looks good. Oh, good. I'm excited. Yep. I mean, Abby looks good. I'm curious. Like, it's not Dance Moms without her. You know, I know, like, Cheryl from Dancing with the Stars filled in for a little bit. But pretty excited to see it. I know they're, like, getting a whole bunch of kids. Yes, me too. Me too, Rob. I love it. And I watch Amanda. Amanda to the rescue. I mean, I just watch a lot of Animal Planet because it's what I leave on the TV. I live the, I leave the big TV on for Riley when I leave so she can watch Animal Planet and watch the animals. Cause she like, she does her like Aussie dog thing. You know, she like turns her head like listening. Like she's hilarious. But apparently she made a mess and Daddy was not happy when he got home and there was poop everywhere because I did not secure the PB pad correctly into the pen. Yes, Netflix is the best. I know, I know, Andrea. I'm so sad. I hope she feels better. Oh, yeah. After Derek. Yeah, the koala. They're so good, though. I also love Soothing You Can Dance. Like, I know Lindsay is on there now. A couple of the uh, Dancing with the Stars alumni are on Dancing with the Stars. Or, I mean, So You Think You Can Dance alumni. Yeah, it'd be awesome, Vicky. I would love to go to Australia Zoo. It just like ah, uh, the opening segment of that with Steve Irwin talking about his kids and passing the football. That is wildlife conservation. Ah, uh, gets me every time. And they've been replaying like his Crocodile Hunter episodes with Terry and Wes, like his wife and his best friend, like kind of giving commentary in the beginning. I really love that. Like, that's so cool that they're bringing that back. No, I mean, so if you think about. It, um, it gets over 500 um, acres now. Like, it's about the size of Animal Kingdom. Australia Zoo is big. It's the size of Animal Kingdom. So, I'm, yeah, I would love to visit that. that I would love to visit Australia Zoo someplace. And it's scary how Robert looks just like Steve. Like, at that age, they showed that picture of him. He looks just like his dad. Like, that's amazing. I did. I was nervous, too. I was like, oh, my gosh, no. And then when he did uh, Grant, Grant, is it Grant, the uh, the crocodile, the mean one? I was like, good for him. He's, he's very mature for his 14 years old, like, for his age, you know. Oh, my gosh. Is she from Oregon? That's awesome, Corey. Yes, we are so close to 3K. Oh, my gosh. Make sure you guys are sharing the stream. We are so close, so close. Mary, yes, the hot tamale train, girl, hot tamale. I know, it's crazy. And then Rob's like, well, because they always say he's a future director. And I'm like, well, how come it's him? I'm like, well, that's probably how they willed it, you know. And I saw that episode when they brought him to the park when he was first born. And it's like, yeah, future director, they said it there, too. But you're like, what about Bindi? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't make these decisions. <laughs> Rob was like... I'm like, it's not like the succession for the royal family, you know. But he was like, why is he the director and not his older sister? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. It's a good show. It's a really good show. I love it. They're just so enthusiastic. They're such good kids, and I'm so glad they're continuing on, you know. All right, guys, one minute. Turn you guys around. See you guys soon.
Each of us has a dream. A heart says I. It calls to us. And when we're brave enough to listen, and bold enough to pursue it, that dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we are meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic.
Trust me, having a best friend by your side opens up a whole new world of possibilities.
looking for
My pleasure, Lisa. Thank you for being here. Thank you, all of you who are there. I know you're watching. May not be active in the chat, but I know you're there. It means so much. Thank you for being there. Well, we got one more day of Elsa Fied Castle. Welcome. Well, this is all the day guests. That includes us. We'll be herded out of here. We'll probably have an hour. So in an hour, they'll sweep because it's an after hours event. So that's good. I mean, if you only have a day to do Magic Kingdom, I would do an after hours event because you can come in at four. So, you know. We'll do one of the uh, Hollywood Studios or DAC ones because that would be fun to do Slinky a whole bunch of times, you know. Maybe he likes the fireworks, yes. All the colors and the sounds, maybe. Rob's ringtone is, I'm Piggle Rick. Like, oh my gosh, the dog always like freaks out every time. <laughs> wow. Well, it's also fun to sit in the rocking chairs, but you definitely get a better view out here. They do. They do have a single of Happily Ever After. I think you can get it on, available on iTunes. I feel like like uh, RuPaul right now. Available on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're using the overflow from Tomorrowland, but yeah. But today is like their first day of school. I mean, it's still busy. Not as busy as yesterday. Um, but it is satisfying watching the crowds go. Rick and Morty, right? I'm Pickle Rick in the middle of the night. He can't shut his phone off. Like, I always have my phone on Do Not Disturb because, you know, it'll cut out the stream if you're streaming. But he can't because he's on call for a night side of the week. So it's like in the middle of the night, I'm Pickle Rick. And I'm like, oh my gosh, trying to sleep, people. <laughs> oh, Heidi, that's so sad. Oh, Brianna, I'm so glad. Yes, girl, the herd. We're like part of that herd, though. Must be. Go third shift. Go third shift. Yep, letting our herd thin out a little. I just like watching it. It's pretty. Well, you know, it's pretty up here. They'll probably um, sweep at nine. You know, they'll sweep everybody out of the lands. Because if they were in line before 8, so they got to finish, like, the people in Space Mountain with a 105-minute wait. Then they'll get everybody out, and the only people left should be the after-hours event people. Which is fine. Which is great. Hey, Lightning. How are you? Yes, make sure we get a thumbs up. If you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, it'll be much appreciated. That's an easy way you guys can help out for sure. Yeah, they show up Wednesday. I want to go to ESPN and try to check out the merch. You know, Mama likes her merch. I know you like her merch. But I did buy a cute shirt last year from the Raw Threads booth. That's my favorite. They have all those cute little tank tops and stuff. So maybe not Wednesday, but maybe Thursday or Friday. I'm going to skedaddle over there. I don't know if I'm going to work Thursday yet. Right now I'm off, but I may or may not pick up because, you know, I'm just going to start saving money for Disneyland. <laughs> Gotta work, gotta work. You know, I think yesterday my hip flexor and everything else hurt because I came from work. I work tomorrow, so, you know, I'll be sore by tomorrow night. But don't forget, tomorrow St. the Phoenician's Tuesday. Oh, so fun. Wow. And yes, said it wasn't busy. <laughs> Everybody's coming. You have a few Disney ringtones. Oh, that's cool, Wendy. Yeah, mine is Haunted Mansion. When hinges creak and doorless chambers in strange and frightening sounds echo through the halls. I can keep going. <laughs> yeah. That's nice, Rosie. Yeah, we're like the herd. We're part of the cattle. Murr. Only pasture-raised cattle, okay? Organic, pasture-raised I'm all about that. Now, I actually found a few butchers. I want to check out that Lucky's place that Kevin was talking about to go get, like, 
fresh meats and stuff and vegetables. But there's actually, I'm, I want to just buy pasture-raised beef. I know, like, I'm taking keto to the extreme this year. But in period, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, pasture-raised beef is happier beef. They, it's part of the whole remuneration, ruminant because cows are ruminants. They eat the grass and you know, it's a whole circle of life thing. I'm all about the pasture raise. In Florida, there's a lot of farmland here. So um, there was, I didn't realize there was three or four um, pasture raised like butchers and farms close by here in Orlando. I went to visit, like there's three of them. I think there's one in Okoe. And I forgot the one is in Summerland, and I forget where the other one was, but I definitely want to check it out. They have like you know, fresh beef, fresh eggs, and and if you look at the difference between an organic pasteurized egg, like chicken temperature egg, like it is yellow. That yolk is yellow. But yeah, hey, you know, support your local Florida farmer too. I'm down with that. Like I am ready. I go to Petty's Meats, but I don't know if that's per se local or farm raised or pasture raised. But I want to support support spend too much at the expo girl you can buy your ufos y'all you can buy them here doing race if you're here doing a race weekend go to the expo and get yourself some ufos fit toronto's got a booth over there nice vicky awesome hi hand cat cool oh thanks davy yay you made your watch you're right it's so interesting that's why i'm on a whole pasture raise thing like i just watched the magic pill again and the whole paleo way with um you know the, the guy the, the the australian guy uh on the magic pill pete pete evans it's like just the whole you know paleo way eating you know whole food i'm like i'm, I'm like on a health food kick sorry i know it's new it's like the new year everybody's going to the gym gym memberships are at their highest in january but you know i'm on a kick that's part of my channel i know keto is life it's not for everybody but it's part of my life <laughs> but I'm, I'm motivated right now because i feel great i'm on a it'll be 24 hours at 11 that i haven't actually eaten a meal i had cheese i had the baby bell and i've been drinking a lot of water and i feel fantastic like, I could stream for all night right now. I have so much more energy now. When you fast, like, man, your body is like a temple. It is burning off all this extra fat. Mm-hmm. I still feel amazing, and I love that feeling. Mmm. <laughs> yes, pork chops. Yes, Wendy, absolutely. Don't bread them. Just fry them up, girl, and some coconut oil. Coconut oil is great to fry in and delicious. Avocado oil or olive oil. Yeah, pork, the other, other white meat. Or, yeah. Mmm, I smell garlic again. It's coming from Tony's. I know it. Whole Foods eating whole. Yeah, I'm on a kick. Watch his new series too on uh, on Netflix, The uh, Paleo Way. Very similar. Grunted, like he eats more carbs than we do, but it's like sweet potatoes. He eats no grain, sugar, or flour either. So, which is like he's fantastic. Like he can cook for me any day. But Australians and New people from New Zealand, they're very keto, paleo. That's how they eat. Aber like, you know, if it didn't, what is it, walk, swim, or fly, or grow in the ground, it's not food. <laughs> I love that. Like, that is so cool. You should get a pair of UFOs, girl. You'll be hooked. Oh, that's awesome, Corey. Yes, Disney is life. That's your rest your reason and let them go. Nice, Vicky. It'll be awesome. I'm sorry, Davey. Well, I'm so... I hope you feel better soon. Hugs and pixie dust. Okay. Sure, Tiffy. I'll check. We're here to support each other. We're going to have a healthier, happier Ohana here. Disney is our cardio, and it's going to help us run around town. Wow, it's a lot of people. All oh, those smokeless indoor grills. Ooh, I've never tried one of those. A lot of um, indigenous folks eat grasshoppers. Protein, I guess. Proteins. Why not? Probably tastes very nutty. That's what I watched something. What did I watch? Yeah, the, it's protein, girl. It's protein. <laughs> uh, 
the herd. Wow, they're coming from all directions. Wait, all directions. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those indoor girls, but yeah, that sounds really good. Oh yeah, I did see that. The little one that he had, that might be good. Especially if it snows where you live, that'd be awesome. We had bacon wrapped shrimp at work yesterday because it's one of our garnish garnishes for the Bloody Marys. You know I stashed a bunch of those, right? <laughs> um, like, and the bacon. Although I only had one piece of our bacon because it's pecan smoked and it's got sugar in it, but that sure is delicious. We have a bacon wrapped shrimp as one of the garnishes and one of the Bloody Marys for brunch. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Ooh, and we have a great shrimp and grits, you know, over at Homecoming, but you could serve it over cauliflower rice instead of grits. It would be so good. I need to try to make shrimp and grits at home, but use cauliflower rice instead of grits. But Rob has been eating the salmon with a little bit of cauliflower rice. I mean, it's just like dill and all of that. I made him that big salmon the other day, and I still have that synagogue, that beef stew that I made with the corned beef meat uh, at home with the baby bok choy. And Rob ate that yesterday, said it was so good. He just puts cheese on everything. Rob is happy with cheese. Like on his broccoli, he loves broccoli. He eats broccoli every day <laughs> with cheese and butter. With a side of butter and cheese. It's delicious. There's like a lot of people. I know, where's everybody coming from? Yeah, Ghirardella is no longer giving out free chocolate. Yeah, I saw that the other day the halter monitor hopefully it's just for a little bit they're just checking out your you know your heartbeat oh no davy yeah the herd girl the herd that's us we're part of that herd or like we're salmon swimming upstream <laughs> all that not farm rays but the wild caught salmon that's the other one But a lot of Florida is farmland, you know. I know a lot of people don't think that, but it is, especially up here in Central and Northern Florida. Wow, the herd. Well, I hope you feel better soon, David, and I hope they fix whatever it is. There's a lot of, um, we have special needs folks that work canine. There's a lot of, I mean, everybody, there's a lot of positions here at Walt Disney World. Absolutely. No, that's amazing, Corey. I'm so glad. Oh, you can't have broccoli. Broccolini? Baby bok choy? How about your cruciferous veggies? Oh, so you can't have any cruciferous. That's the good stuff. Yeah, just keep swimming. Yes, Tiffy. Not yet. We're letting the herd thin out, you know, because we're just going to have to fight the crowd and, you know, not about that life. No, it does make a difference. Margarine is the devil. Because remember, it's that whole vegetable oil, corn oil, safflower oil. Remember, they talked about that on the magic pill, so no margarine. Butter. Kerrygold butter. I use Kerrygold. The Irish grass-fed butter. It's delicious, girl. And get it salted because you need the salt, remember? You need 3,000 milligrams of salt. Yeah, now get uh, carry gold butter. We buy it by the box loads at um, Costco. I love the carry gold. I cook my eggs with butter and bacon grease. I've been like, you know, keeping my bacon grease again. Like, I've been like a good southern woman. Keep her bacon grease. I strain it out, like, because I cook all that bacon all the time when I'm home. Um, Rob's and I's favorite meals is, you know, breakfast, morning, noon, and night. So we do like eggs and a pound of bacon. Rob will eat all the bacon if you don't watch him. So I just saved that bacon grease, you know? And they talked about that, like grandma really could cook really well because grandma cooked with bacon grease and you're like, you know, she was smart, just strain it out and then just save it in the mason jar. Yes, real butter. Yes, David is right. Yeah, girl, real butter. You want the carry gold or if you don't have carry gold, get organic grass-fed butter, whatever brand you get. 
No, nope, park is closed tonight, Michael. This is it. Yeah, the park closed at 8, actually. So we're just chilling like a villain here. Yeah, it's gross, Ruby. I know, it's like chemicals. Yeah, like, well, somebody's sitting on the rocking chairs already. I'll just watch up here and wait for all the people to go by. It's kind of fun, though. See, they're all backed up right here. You know what stuck right here? Because we would be jammed right there trying to get out. So, traffic jams. We'll just wait. I got a traffic jam on this side, too. So, we'll just let all the people go. Robbie's home with a dog. Jeez. Oh, wow. There's really more people up here now. Oh, no, Elf. I'm so sorry. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Sending you lots of Ohana love, pixie dust, and hugs. Hugs. Seven hugs a day. Remember, you need seven hugs per day. Oh, Ruby, yes. Cookies and bacon, Jedi food. Truly. Keto cookies. Why am I still here if they close at 8? Because fireworks were 8. It's not like they kick you out at 8. <laughs> they usually have about an hour till after park closes. All of the stores on Main Street stay open. Because, of course, they want your doll hairs. You got to go buy your Suvi souvenirs. True, true, Amy. Sure, we zoomed in earlier. The herd, are we swimming? They're swimming down Main Street. <laughs> Everybody's filming the herd. They're where they were hiding in the park, girl. And there's still a whole bunch of, as long as you're in line before eight, they have to let you ride. So there's people that are still finishing up lines. I'm sure for Big Thunder, Splash Mountain, Space Mountain was at 105 minutes. So you've got another hour probably till they purge all these folks out. Cause they're not gonna kick you out just cause it closed at eight. And of course the shop's still open for a few more hours, you know, for the after hours event. You just can't ride. You can stay and hang out, but you just uh, can't ride. Oh, you rewatched it, Vicky. It was good. I'm like, Mickey had some moves. I didn't know he was hiding all those moves. Where was he hiding all those moves? It's on ABC in demand, on demand if you have not um, seen it yet. Well, I've parked at the TTC before. And you know that aggravates me. Some, it takes me an hour and a half to get out. And we stayed late that night. Like, I was like, I'm not going to get back to my car. I had to walk to my car because we tend to close the park down. So, you know. So many people. Oop, carousel's not moving. Happy as heard in the world. Yes. Super Walmart should have, you mean the butter? They should. Hey, Red, no, how you doing? We're watching the, the herd go by. Oh, it's getting colder, let's see. I think it's dropped below, ooh, it's 66, holy moly. It dropped fast. Oh, yay. Oh, there you go. I didn't know Cabot was the same way. That's cool. Yeah, as long as it's cream and salt, yes, absolutely.
They will. What they'll do is once everybody's out of the rides, I mean, people have communication devices, they will, um, they will purge and then they'll probably check for your wristband, see if you have one. No, the Skyway will not run 24 hours. The buses don't run 24 hours. The boats don't run 24 hours. Yes, yeah, so the line for the buses are going to be buses and the monorail and then the paddle boat. Goodness gracious. There you go, Wendy. Perfect. Right? I know I'm so excited for that too. 21. Oh my goodness. It's okay. We love all the punny, punny, punny jokes. All the puns. a great movie ride so much. I can't wait for two and a half D. And Goofy's driving that train. So you know shenanigans will ensue. It'll be fun. I can't wait for that ride too. Can't wait. And the cosplaying at the park doing galaxies at when the Star Wars hotel opens. It's going to be so cool. There's still a lot of people on, on uh, Main Street, though, look. There's still a whole mess of people all jumbled up over there. Of course, Tiffy. We always are. You know how it is. We always brave it. We were there for Toy Story Land at 4.30 in the morning. I'm sure we'll be there at the crack of dawn again. I don't know where his plane went, but I showed you guys earlier where the airstrip was. It's on the right. So, but yeah, we don't know. There's, I think of it like an Indiana Jones thing, you know, like where they put the Ark of the Covenant. They probably have like a super secret Disney warehouse where all these things go. It's probably there somewhere. <laughs> Yes, that's supposed to open 2021. So I'm excited to see Epcot Forever, which is going to be the new show this summer when Illuminations finally end. It's bringing back, it's going to be bringing back a lot of 80s retro Epcot. And you know, we loves our retro Epcot. So that's pretty darn awesome. I can't wait for that. And then next year, 2021 for the 50th. We'll have the actual new show. So we're getting two shows in the next two years. The Space Restaurant is supposed to be kind of space themed. Also run by the Patina Group, which runs Morimoto Asia and Edison and Maria and Enzo's. And you'll be able to see space when you look outside. I'm excited for that too. Ooh, it's so sparkly. Girl. Well, if you come in November, Corey, Galaxy's Edge should be open, but it may be blacked out. I don't know how long the cast member tickets are going to be blacked out for. Because I guarantee they blacked us out for a little bit during um, Avatar opening and then during Toy Story Land. I had to use a non, I had to use a separate ticket for Toy Story Land opening, but I'll be double dipped by then though. Just yeah. For you guys, <laughs> I will have to purchase a platinum pass by then, just to be double dip, you know, cause ain't gonna be having any of that. Ooh, oh, 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 disco castle. Thank you so much for your super chat, Mandy. You're so sweet. I like the disco castle. Yes, it's a Star Wars hotel. You'll be looking out um, 
Yeah, you basically are like gonna check in. If you're checking into the Star Wars hotel on the first level, it's gonna be like checking into any like regular Disney hotel. And then when you go up your elevator, you're gonna be going to space. And then once you're in like the fifth level, you are in now in outer space. So it's a different kind of more themed immersive check-in where you'll be able to put on some robes, like some Jedi robes or be participate in the whole cosplay of it all, like be immersed in the full Star Wars storyline. Obviously, you're going to be tracked by your magic bands again, even in both of these rides are going to be the same way. You know, Rise of the Resistance and uh, the Millennium Falcon ride, you're both going to be like tracked on those. It's going to be so awesome. I'm sure, you know, they're going to have special packages involving like a fully immersive storyline, but for the uber star wars geek this is life it's giving you life like they are going to be all about this and i know from going to megacon for years now that star wars fans are not in star wars celebration which we're having another one next year this year this year gosh last one was in 2017 i went to that one too and covered that one um yeah that's gonna be epic they only have star wars celebration every every two years Thank you so much for your super chat, Mandy. That's much, much appreciated. It did close at eight, but there is, um, they don't kick you out. You know, we always loiter, but there's also a after hours event tonight. So eventually they will, um, and remember there's still people in rides. So if you're at Big Thunder or Space Mountain where it's 105 minutes and you got in at like 7.59, they have to make you, they have to let you ride. So they're gonna be there for another 105 minutes. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So yes. Yes, I hope so. I'm excited, excited to go to Oga's Cantina. You know, like, I'm ready for some blue milk. I'm ready for some blue milk cocktails. I am just excited. Yes, I did see the Star Trek thing in Hilton. Yes, I was there for that. I did see that when they had Star Trek um, exhibit in Vegas. Thanks. Good night, James. I'm going to go down there once. A okay, it's sufficiently thunned out, I think. go shopping I do need some locking pin backs though because one can never have too many of those oh my kneecaps bubbles bubbles yes we still have people like finishing out their rides and they'll probably sweep the park and maybe 15 minutes or longer because they sell they know they're communicating with each other in each ride like saying hey sell have people here from the day and blah 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 you know so probably another 45 minutes or so till they really start cracking down and sweeping 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 Yeah, girl, don't rush out. Just chillax. And then you're never going to get your perfect Instagram, just me and the castle pig. you got to close the park down like Joe and I did that one time in order to get that perfect castle shot. Oh. Awesome, Natalie. I can't wait. Exactly. Bring your pillow. Should be tomorrow. It should go down overnight. We should, should have, would have, could have, you know. Let's go shopping. Ugh, more mugs because I don't have enough Disney mugs in my cupboard. I'm running out of cupboard space. Oh, these bookends are bomb. Pants. And then I want that. I told Rob I wanted that. The little candle holders Cute candle trays Ooh. oh you know what I need these for my eggs 
I need these for my eggs. I can use them as egg forms, as an eggy sandwich. Like Mickey shaped eggs for sandwiches. Oh, I need that. Or this one. This one might be better. Ooh, yeah. I think an egg would fill that out. Or the little one. I can't remember. Hmm. I put two eggs in this one. These are $7.99, $7.95. These are $5.99. I think these might be Egg McMuffin sized. The Borg, yes, the Borg. Oh gosh, seven of nine. Hmm, there's a stackable salt and pepper set. Measuring cups, ice cubes. Oh my gosh, I could just thought of that. We totally can do this. No, they're not gonna do the kiss goodnight till after the after hours event. Oh, we could do eggy bites with these. Cause I make my own eggy bites, not like the ones at, um, you know, you throw some scrambled egg in there, spinach, bacon, cheese, whatever you want, and then have a Mickey shape. Ooh, totally good idea though. 15 bucks for that. Oh, that would be good. We got two of those. These are really large molds, though. But I think maybe this one or this one. These might be good for in Saturdays. Yeah, that might be good for the sandwiches. Hmm. You do awesome. I know, right, Red? The whole section for pancakes. But I'm thinking with this fit for eggs like you know I make an egg McMuffin but use the egg as a sandwich but these might be cute to do that I just bought those I went to Whole Foods and bought a whole box of um, mason jar lids so I could do that but these Mickey ones are better I think the little one might work better as a sandwich like an egg McMuffin size I'm gonna have to get two of those I'm gonna try that tomorrow oh maybe not tomorrow cuz I gotta get up early Go to work. Oh my gosh. Oh, they have a set. What now? Breakfast molds. Yeah, they get a whole set. S sandwich stamp and crust cutter. Mmm. Yeah, I need this. I have this. I have this. But there's a whisk. Cute measuring spoons. Spatulas. Ooh. Cute. Yeah, I think we can do the little one for eggs. Talk about Disney-fying your, your meals. I love it. We need it. Posters and teapots. I gotta get those egg molds. Not right now, because this line is real. So crowded in here. I'm sorry. Sorry, just training. Yeah, the lines are so packed. Ruby. Yes, Jill, we need it all in our lives. <laughs> it would. It's at Box Lunch, by the way. That waffle maker you want, Tiffy? It's at Box Lunch, girl. Get it. It's at Box Lunch. And the crock pot. It's there. Rob wants a Christmas lanyard that's like that. I haven't seen one.
Yeah, great eggy bite muffin trays for sure. Locking pin backs. I know Rover wanted to know about the locking pin backs. He's like, what? Shenanigans. Locking pin backs. That's how you don't lose them. Ten pin backs in your little tiny, tiny, world's tiniest Allen wrench. So that's what you put on all your pins that you put on your backpacks because you can't, um, you know, you don't want to lose them. I see if there's any new ones. Yeah, I love that one. It's cute. Hades. I have them on my other backpack because it's been not been hotter than Hades lately, but Hades nonetheless. Oh, let's see if there's any. Oops, sir. I still have the Wreck It Ralph one and the NP's Nass and some Epcot 35th Anniversary Magic Bands. Those are some limited edition ones that I see right now. Should get the Wreck-It Ralph one, but that's going to be an entry only one. So I did see the video on what it does, but it's an entry only. Most of the movie ones are. Like it only lights up and does the special effects and the sounds at the door. Americana stuff. Ooh, that would be a cute one for your luxurian stuff. Oh, yeah, cute. Why are there so many cute things? Sorry. Cute thing. Ooh, I need a water bottle, y'all. Hang on. Oh, that's not insulated, though. I need, like, a you know, those metal ones that stay cold. But then I'd still have to fill it. Uh, Riley ain't big enough for these things. They need to make them for little dogs. Like, I need a, you know, everybody's, a lot of people have little dogs. I need a little dog line. Because she's, she's not an extra, extra small anymore. She's an extra small. So, she getting bigger. She's like probably five and a half pounds now. I have that one. I have that one. I did not get this one yet. This is cute. I do like the pan. I probably need to do that too for the jacket. I still need to get an iron. I haven't had enough time to spend at home to just do the jacket, but I did buy the jacket at Forever 21. Forever 21 had it. The denim jacket in the dark, like the dark antique wash denim. Ooh, look cute. Small world mix and match. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Books? What? Haunted Mansion magnet set. Ooh, I need it. I need it. Oh, this is cool. Really? Oh no. I need it. How much is it? 20 bucks. That's some expensive magnets, y'all. I wonder if it's all of it or what do you get? I mean, it's pretty thick. I don't know what else is in here, but I think I need it in my, whoop, shoot. She dropping everything. I need that in my life. I need it in my life. Hi, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. Travel journal. I need books. I need the book section. Let's find the book section. And we'll... Oh, no, these are the cute VHS-looking notebooks. I had a book section before. Or am I having a moment? Now, get out of here. Uh, they, I don't know where they moved it to. Hang on. Oh, it's behind me. Because I did not look behind me. So sorry. Post it notes. No, that's not books. Those are shadow boxes. Notebook. book section. Mm, let me see. They moved everything around. Mm, 
but it's got to be around here somewhere. It's usually with like the school supplies and stuff. Ooh, magnets. Uh, oh, sorry. No worries. Towel section. No, that's fine, but I have to go find a restroom. Um, he asked, where do you have your books? Like travel books, you had a book section before that had like hidden Mickey's and stuff like that. We actually moved it, so we're not okay. selling books in the store anymore. Um, but we still have some in the back. Are you looking for a specific book or just? Did you have a trivia book, or was it just the? We just had the hidden Mickey, like yeah, and then the coloring books, um, the King and Keepers books. Okay. And, like some, like a couple of books, with some random. Okay, books. but you didn't have a trivia book. Okay, just checking. Thank you. Yep, I'll just order it on Amazon. They're not going to be selling books no more. Apparently, they didn't sell. Okay. <laughs> so, no books. Yeah, I wish there's a hidden Mickey one. Uh, I'll check at work tomorrow. and It's at work. I haven't been at work since yesterday. So, I didn't work today. But I will check tomorrow. It's probably jammed in that corner still. Cool. Did you look at box lunch? Yes. Cool. Buy it all, Ruby. Buy it all. <laughs> you know, box lunch is dangerous, but they have cool stuff in there for sure. Battleship and Jenga. Oh, yeah. They got a ton of Star Wars stuff, too. Nice, Sherry. Ooh, hot bargain. Yeah, they had the buy one, get two free thing on sale recently, so that's awesome. Nice, Sherry, nice. Cool, yay, Amanda. Yes, girl, it's very cute. They have these wooden things down here. Oh, did you get your camera and stuff? This is my phone. Yeah, I know, but like... It's on 8 Plus. No, I know, yeah. but like... This is um, online, like Best Buy or Amazon. And it comes all together? No. No? We gotta piece it all together. Okay, so what is it called? <laughs> this is a three-axis gimbal. Three-axis gimbal? Yes, okay, ma'am. Thank you. Uh -huh. I wish it all came together. A diorama. Ooh, this is what they look like. It's very cute. These are cute. I like these. Nice. <laughs> Spend the money on snacks. Hey, ooh, lightsabers. Buy yourself a combat saber. It's me. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. Pardon me. Ear hats, goofy hats, see plenty of. Oh, here's the dots ears, yeah. Very cute. Plethora of purple potion ears. There's a ton of them, so that's cute. And then here's your rock the dots ears. Yeah, all the ears. Oh, she's done dropping them again. Yeah, they're all twenty seven ninety nine now. They went up four bucks. Did they have your shirt? I just walked away. It's on Friday. They got the Tiana Nolans Nolans ears. Those are pretty too. I like those. Got beanies. Here's the hat that I got yesterday. They got a scarf. They have a bone daddy beanie to match my gloves. find the gloves I think but these have the armholes which I really like I love it right pretty much the beer the, they're almost 30 they're 27.99 now so they went up and the spirit jerseys are 64.99 now they've gone up too I'm like what's the difference went up like five bucks everything went up like five bucks yeah, they've got the 2019 stuff up, so that's still the same. Some of the leftover Christmas stuff, 25% um, off right now. Mickey Golf, cute. 
Yeah, they still have some ornaments and stuff on sale. 2019 stuff. Mugs. More purple potion here, sorry. The bows are gone. They're at Cast Connections now in a character warehouse. So that's why, yeah, the bows I don't see anymore. They're, they've made it to the outlet, so definitely stock up on those. The, 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 there's new bows, but the new bows are not clips, like the interchangeable ear ones. They, have a, they had a ton of bows, and they were I did see them at Cast Connections in a character warehouse. I do need to go to Character Warehouse. Hopefully the signal is better. If it's not any better, I can always vlog it because that mall is a dead zone. Every time we drive by it on I-4, it like drops. So. Ooh, more patches. Let's see. Cocoa patches. Ooh, the snack goals one is cute. Treat yourself. Ooh, I like that. There's no prints required. Cute. Check in for more patches. I have that one. Yeah, they um switched them out. They they are at the outlet now though, girl, so definitely <laughs> Ears are cute. All right. Oh, I saw the shirt at the outlet. Rob didn't want it because he's a goof. But yeah, I found this stitch shirt at Cast Connections. They had that already. It's cute though. But they had that. Mm, walking by Casey's. And it smells delicious. Is it closed? Yeah. Oh no, they open. Except I can't eat. It's the barbecued pork slaw hot diggity dog is the special dog of the week. Good night. I gotta get going as well, cause you know. Trying to be home before midnight. I went on the wrong way. Okay. Mm, so pretty. The box is open. The Starbucks is open. better maybe get a tea for the road let's do it Trenta, strawberry green tea infusion, 
no liquid team, sub 13 Splenda. <laughs> Gotta have how many Splenda? 13. It's perfect for the trend. It like, tastes like sweet tea, but. Um, do you want lemonade or no? Me? Gen G E N. It's a G E N. I'm a Genevieve, not a Jennifer. <laughs> Yeah, you can put your Starbucks. Whoop, yikes, I did it again. I, um, I put the, um, I put the, you can put your Starbucks card on your Apple Watch. You can put it in the front. Like, that way it's one of your, like, the way you set up your face, your Apple Watch face, that way it's there when you're trying to pay and stuff. Ugh. Hang on. There you go. You gotta be up at 5.30 in the morning. I gotta get up before you. Yes. Oh, probably, probably. Yeah, it's still Christmas, but it's Walt Disney World, you know? Oh, you're welcome, Natalie. Thank you for being here, guys. Yes, it'd be probably hard to be the purging person. Yeah, probably, I'm... I, I guess like Hollywood Studios went down already, but maybe an extra day today, but maybe the third shift people are taking it down today. No, it's a drink. It's a it's a splendid drink. Yes. Sorry, yep, I forgot to tuck the fuel rod back in its safe spot. Now you're safely Scotsla. You've never seen Starbucks this not busy. Yay! the side of tea. Oh wow, I see. What did you think? Yeah, I am up at four too, girl. Nice. I enjoyed it. Wasn't my favorite, but I enjoyed it. Mixed reviews. Robin Mom was not having it. Yes, I will see you tomorrow, Wendy, at Epcot for Thank the Phoenicians Tuesday. <laughs> nice. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, mom and no, we're not having it. And I'm like, wow. Nope. I know it's not probably a true fast because I had a piece of baby bell in some bulletproof coffee today. I know that's thinking like, to me, in my mind, it's not breaking the fast because I haven't had an actual meal. Just drinking fluids and stuff, but two more hours and it'll be 24 hours without like a meal meal. And I'm feeling good <laughs> and not hungry. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, you too. And they still spell it with a J, no love in this world. Hang on, let me grab my keys really quick. You said we haven't had the tea drink in a while. There you go. We're getting tea today. You know, it's Jen with a G. Yes, it's Jen with a G. The letter G. <laughs> I'm delirious. They never get it right. That's okay. Oh, I'm not sure, William. I'm not sure. I have not seen the Margaritaville um, 
Well, I just think of the one in Vegas, the Margaritaville Casino in Vegas. One of my friends used to work there. Uh, yeah, I've been seeing the one here. I knew they were building it, but I have not had the opportunity to go check it out. I'm like, is it going to be like the Vegas one? Girl, I'm not hangry though. That's the problem. The longer you fast, the least hungry. Oh, cute. Hi. Bye. Thank you. Yes. I love it when they remember my name, girl. Thank you. I'll see you soon. See, the barista remembers me. I'm like, bye, Jen. I'm like, what? She knows my name. Fire truck. Why is it driving down Main Street? Hey, Rita, how you doing? Yes, the castle's still Christmassy. Ah, uh, thanks, girl. Well, it's a weekend taquito, finally. Seven days. Oh, let's go look for, um, here. Because here's the Crystal Arts. Let's find Roy's window, because that was my little trivia question today. Make sure if you want the three buttons that I did for trivia, you message me on... Facebook Messenger, because I'm going to be mailing all of that stuff on Wednesday. Okay, let's see, let's see. That's Don Tatum. Gosh, I cannot even see. Mr. Lot, M.T. Lot. I love it. M.T. Lot. Mm -hmm. Real estate investments. So apropos. Apropos. Apropo. Can't even talk today. Uh, auditors. Okay, where's... Oh. He's by the Crystal Arts building. Let's find Elias Disney. Mm, man, that's good. There it is. Elias Disney. That was right on Center Street. Hang on if I can... E -e 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 -e. I can't zoom. Hang on. My fingers are frozen. All right. Right there. Do you see it? You have arrived. Yes, girl. So I remember you and I'm like... Uh -huh. Hey, Fabian from uh, Argentina. Hello, hello. There's Elias Disney. Jack Olson. These are all your awesome, awesome Imagineers. I found Roy's window. So it was by Crystal Arts. I do not see it there. This is a voice lesson. This is the one where you can hear them having voice lessons or dance lessons. It's a good place to hang out and chill out. Um, here on Center Street. Go away, Green. Beans don't look at it. Go away. Um, but this is Center Street. This is that little street. There's Uptown Jewelers. That's what it is. Elias Disney's is on Uptown Jewelers building. Roy's is supposed to be on Crystal Arts building. Might be in the front, though. Might be in front. Uh, Waltz is in front of the Plaza Ice Cream Perler. Perler, Perler. There's, yeah, Uptown Jewelers. Uh, oh, don't cry, baby. Don't cry. Make me cry. I think the book lied to me. I don't see Roy. Oh, it's no, that's Ron Miller. Peregrina. Oh, I'm getting blinded, dude. That's a lot of flash. Big top. Waltz is in front of that one. I don't see Roy's. It lied to me. It's supposed to be on top of Crystal Arts. We found Elias Disney's though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Oh wait, I missed the question. What kind of coffee is it? What do you mean? Oh, cold brew? Oh, 
Oh, I'm not sure. Cold brew, you can... Arabica beans, maybe. This is tea today, though. I'm getting tea. It's a strawberry green tea infusion. Hey, no liquid cane. Uh-oh. It's the bus. Hey, Dakina, what's up? Got over Brohana in the house. Oh, my. All right, I'm still, like, shenaniganed about this. Where is it? I saw Elias Disney's. I'm going to have to reread that part of the book because it is not on Crystal Arts. It says Crystal Arts. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Ooh, fumes, y'all. Watches. The art of Mickey. It's stressing you out with the game? Oh, no, don't watch it. Yale Gracie, oh I can't. Bud Martin, Ken O'Brien, Walfield Rogers, Buena Vista Magic Lantern Slides. Oh, I love that. There you go, Mr. Master Gracie himself. That's why he was called Master Gracie. Because Imagineer Yale Gracie worked on Haunted Mansion. Ah, love it. Mm, don't look at all those tempting treats because we don't want to fall off the wagon. <laughs> It's okay. At this point, when you're not hungry, we're good. All right. Let's get going before he sends out the... Uh... He sends out the search party. Oh, nobody's in there? Okay. Close the confectionery. Tony's is still serving. Are there still people out there eating? The chapeau. Oh, the chapeau phone is working again, so you can call the, pick up the phone, and listen to that party line. Yemen mm -mm -mm -mm. coffee bean drink. Mm, sounds good. No. Are you kidding me? He'd yell at me for like, and not yell at me, but you know what I mean. He'd be like, "You're trying to sabotage me." So goodbye. Main Street, goodbye tree. I don't know if you're gonna be down tomorrow. I'm hoping. I just keep riding, riding around the bus, sure. This is what I like, no herd. Or you sit by your rocking chairs like Tanya likes to do. <sighs> Maybe it's the last of our garland, right? They used to do 24 hour events, but apparently it was not lucrative enough. So this way they do the early morning magic or the Disney after dark, which is today. They have that going on. Happily ever after, I love it, but we'll be back. We'll be at Epcot tomorrow, we'll be Epcot. But maybe it is the really, really, really last day before we <laughs> see any more Christmas decorations. I'll be coming around again. Good night. Thank you very much. Bye, Monorail Yellow. I see you, Monorail Yellow. Well, that was fun today. Thank you for joining me. We did Animal Kingdom today. We did some Safari and Festival of the Lion King action. It was quite a lovely Disney day. Another good magical Monday. I just have to get up at 4 a.m., you know. You know how that is. Got to be a work at 8. That's never fun. And then tomorrow, we'll be at Continent. Maybe have some lobster bisque because it's delicious. And lobster bisque has no sugar in it. Because it's just butter and it's delicious. And it'll be delicious. And we need some soup right now. It's cold. Oh, yeah. They'll probably do. Yeah. So, they may not do it till tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Yeah, so maybe they do, um, yeah, because it's third shift, whoever was just reading one of the magazines. We have, like, a magazine, like, you know, for tests and stuff, and they're like, let's honor our third shift, or third shift staff, yeah, because they do, you know, during the year, like you saw that special on decorations of the Magic Kingdom or Disney parks. They do, they put in all the plants, the lights and everything overnight it's like working third shift you know i mean that's kind of nice in a way that you don't have 
guests to deal with, but you got to do it in a timely manner. You got to go from zero to hero in no time flat. You know, you're there overnight planting all the plants and topiaries and getting all the decorations up. Whew, probably Tuesday. Yeah, probably not tonight then. I, he was like, you got to be home before 3 a.m. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try. Hey, Jerry. Yes, I will see you guys tomorrow. See, if you let the crowds go, it's so much better. Don't be too late, though, and then the buses don't run, and then you got to Uber back. You know. Yeah, poor babies are having breakdowns. It's time. It's time for them to go night-night. Ooh, chilly. Sleep schedule is messed up, though. Yes, absolutely. I did work, like, overnight. I used to work 7 p.m., 7 a.m., so you're totally a vampire. You're, like, nocturnal. Even on your days off, you kind of have to stay in that schedule. It's hard to flip over to days because it'll screw you up. Wow, it got cold. It was, like, 80 degrees today, and now it's, like, 65. There's a minivan. Minivans are the only, like, private transportation that can drop you off right in the front of the magic kingdom or pick you up make sure you download your lyft app if you haven't already because that's how you call the minivans it's part of the choice on there make sure you have a lift up a uh, lift app and account set up and ready because you can use lyft and uber here on property lyft works really good on property being that they work with Disney with the minivans and all so and you can pick up at like Epcot Hollywood Studios and it's usually six to eight dollars anywhere on property in a pinch if you don't want to like wait for your bus leaving Epcot Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom they pick you up right up front so just do a lift and uber back to your hotel it's like six to eight bucks worth your sanity if you're trying to just get back you're tired you don't want to deal with the bus it's worth it <laughs> and then even the minivans minivans are i can't believe when they first started they were only 20 dollars but now they're like 30 dollars but it's um fits six, six people or more so you know if you got a big family or you have that many people it's like six people so it's still not bad uh, about an hour and a half hour hour and a half that's it so make sure you um like <laughs> you know they'll get you back uh yeah i mean it's still packed today it was still packed i mean space mountain still had a 105 minute wait yes it is cute thank you thanks thanks david we just have to divide the streams nowadays can't go more than six on in any stream just in case something happens because I lost that one day again it was super fun so you gotta just split it up but yes thank you David so sweet yes it was a good day at the park today alrighty we'll end here that's ah, cold and freezing that's the security by the way it's the best way to do it it's right here oh I'm frozen you don't want to be no they'll give you they'll take you back to fee if you remember that night where we did that like we closed epcot down when i was here with everybody like mitch and oda and everybody every they we had a bus load they'll have to take you back to your resort i mean there was enough of us there was like 20 of us on the bus so yes but just don't get stranded i've had that me and tanya have done that where we had to lift or uber back to epcot where our car was parked so yeah don't wait too long that you get stuck but you know you don't know how it is but again thank you guys whoop thank you guys so much for everything if you have not subscribed yet please do share with your family we are almost to 3k that would be amazing like we are so close share 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 the love share the streams I appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up. That means so much. Um, again, yes, it was our Ohana bus for sure. So thank you again for everything. It is your turn to make some magic. Please comment, like, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Click that notification bell and be part of our Earth and Ohana family. 
please share and I will see